And with me today, I have the marketing director, Jessica Chase. I have Christian Nesmith, who's responsible for the music over there, and Nikki Wagoner, who happens to be one of the students. Hello to all of you, and welcome Hi. to KTS. Hi, Chase. Okay, so talk to me. You know, we've all kind of heard the phrase, School of Rock. We, we you know, you, it evokes images, but the idea that kids can actually go to a place for music lessons done differently. Tell me, tell me about your school. Well, it's... <clears throat> The main, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the 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 crux of it is is that you learn by doing. Um, the uh, the kids have a performance that comes up and uh, is on the books and uh, are assigned a group of songs, and uh, we, my fellow instructors and I, teach them how to play the songs. But the goal is to perform them, and along the way, they learn things about theory and technique, and and uh, also playing in a band and playing together. I I think Nikki over there is having. A, having a pretty good time so far. We were yeah, making a bunch fun. of noise in there yesterday. Okay, then Nikki, how old are you? I'm 13. Now, did you come to the school having had any kind of music in, before um, that? Yes, I was playing guitar a while ago, but I didn't really enjoy it very much. But um, it's just like, I kind of wanted to start playing guitar again, so I kind of just... My mom started working there, so. Are well, you enjoying it now yeah. is the yeah, question. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. So. Now, can I ask you, what, what do you think made the difference? Um, like the people inside there, just yeah. like they kind of give you more experience on it. Very nice. And Jessica, you're part of the school in the in the marketing. What what are what are you bringing to the table, and what are what what's your take on the school? In and tell me a little bit about your impression. And, and well, part, well, I work with a lot of musicians, and the School of Rock is in my community, which is Santa Clarita, and I have children, and we love to bring music and community and kids, and 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 get them, you know, back into rock and roll and you know some of the the classic stuff that that I grew up with and um, we're doing uh, we have a full uh, social media push right now we have a Facebook page we have an Instagram page Twitter uh, we do um, uh, you know the we're, we're having our first um, a band performance, live, our live first band performance, performance, yeah. yeah. And so we're just, you know, we're getting this school and getting some people's awareness about it because it's a, it's in a great location. It's right in New Hall, next to the high schools. We have a bunch of kids, all different ages. Of course, Christian brings such a dynamic, you know, uh, impact musically to the school, and and how he teaches kids is is amazing. So you know, that's we're, we're just. I trying just to get yell and throw out. things. Really. <laughs> you know, that's all that, I do, and, and that's actually very helpful uh, yeah. sometimes. Now. Christian, you're coming to music, working with the kids now. Was music a part of your life before you came to to be part of School of Rock I've and share a, that? Yeah, I've been a professional musician my entire life. I also grew up in a in a, uh, a musical family. You may recognize my last name, and and. Uh, <clears throat> I always had the opportunity to uh, to explore and, and search out and, and discover music. Um, uh, it was a little bit of a slower process, uh, but I found my own process that I developed when I was a kid was so similar to the uh, process that, I, that, that we're trying to give these kids, which was basically you play along to records and you figure out what you're doing. Right, yeah. and that is, I mean, that's what everybody did when you first picked yes. up a, 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 an instrument that meant something to you. And I think, uh, if Nikki, w did you find that when you started originally playing guitar? Do you find now playing it to the music and doing the way they're teaching you? Is that, is that what makes it also more exciting in addition to yeah. your personalities? It, um because there's more instructors and there's a lot more kids in the place because I used to get taught like just one person and me. And in between the talk time, it's like there's crickets. Really, yeah. Really <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And, the, the, and now it's exciting. The it's core fun. difference actually is, you know, we talk about uh, playing along with records when you're kids. This, you're playing along with other kids right. immediately. I mean, yeah. literally almost from the day you walk through the door. Uh, I mean, I think, Nikki, we threw you right into the right room into the fire. that <laughs> first day. Yeah. And yeah. Gave him a riff to uh, Sunshine of Your Love. And he yes. was in. They were all just sitting there pounding away. And yeah. it, was, it was great. And you should see them. They're, they're, they light up more than any other uh, sort of 
instructional circumstance that you can think of. Well, there's a Rosetta Stone for them to look Absolutely. around the room. You guys, the adults yeah. are playing. You're real musicians. You get to come see other kids play. And then do you find maybe just a little bit you bring your A game because that other guy is playing the same thing, yep. too? And I want to play better than them. So there's that. Be the best. Yeah, That's the right. friendly competition. And it's a whole new uh, social circumstance for the kids as well because they, you know, they seem to see the same kids at their school every day. But now they're getting to hang out with younger kids and older kids, all who have the same love of music. So it's making music a team sport. It's yeah, absolute. which when you have private lessons, you don't get to do that. Yeah, absolutely. There's a couple of things I'd like to say on your website uh, because I love these taglines: expert guitar instructions. Instructors are equal parts rocker and educator to help your child learn how to melt faces in the process. <laughs> did music come to life for you, Nikki? Once you did you? I mean, before you were playing maybe exercises or the things to develop dexterity, but now it, it's a different animal, right? Do you, do you feel yeah. you've learned how to melt faces in this process? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Classes tailored to all levels of proficiency, beginner, intermediate, and advanced guitarist. And face melter. And face, and face melter. melter. <laughs> and students master lifelong music fundamentals, which I've said over and over again, even if you don't become the next great rock and roller, music helps so many other aspects of your life, stress being number one. Absolutely. It's actually <laughs> said that playing music with other people involves more parts of the brain than any other activity known. Mm. I've heard that said scientific I'm just study. Gonna, it's true. I just it, said, it's got to be true. Time's Absolutely. true. Yeah. So they'll learn time signatures, picking styles, chords, scales, strumming patterns, and performance techniques. Classic rock, the foundation of the instruction. How nice for the families to hear some of the things that, since it is classic rock, have been around for a very long time. Some of the best music. Absolutely. And you can come in, you can get a free trial lesson, you can your child can come into the school and, and check check it out and you know walk around the parents. It's a really nice, comfortable place for parents to hang out while their kids having their you now, know their do you, lesson. Do you have parents who say, "I want to go here too"? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, oh definitely, because it's inspired by us rock fanatics. I mean, I, I've been uh, you know around music my whole life, but I, I wanted my kids to you know play rock and roll from the day that they were they were born. So all right, so yeah, you're, you're holding your first performance, sort of a recital, if you will, that yes. melts faces. Uh, the you can learn more. Go to their website, schoolofrock.com slash Santa Clarita. Their phone number is 661-268-6029. You said you're also on Facebook. We are, yes. Santa, uh, School of Rock Santa Clarita. And then we also have uh, Twitter, School of Rock. SC like Santa Clarita. All right, and so people can, for the most part, find you there. And they can book lessons. Um, yes. Any. They can call us, okay. and they can come in and get a free trial lesson to check it out. We also are offering summer camps this uh, oh, coming summer. We have three weeks where we're dedicating a summer camp programs. And what for ages kids. again? Uh, even though I said the parents probably want to do it to too. Five to eighteen. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Bet. We got All something right. for everybody. Yeah. And that per that first recital, if you will, uh, the performance is going to be in uh, the Santa Clarita Center. Central Park, uh, May 21st. May I'm not 21st. Sure, I'm not sure correct. of the time of the, of the performance. but Oh, super weather, yes. super venue, yes. awesome place to yeah. be. Mm -hmm. All right, again, we're talking with Jessica Chase, Christian Nesmith, and Nikki Wagoner. Thank you all for being here. Part of School of Rock. You want to find them, schoolofrock.com slash Santa Clarita. Give them a call. Find out if you can get in for lessons. And the summer program, 268-6029. I hope you guys will be back. And Thank you. Bring, yeah, bring we will be, yeah. yeah. And we appreciate Oh, yeah. having us on. I would like yeah, that. Yeah, next month. <laughs> Face melting, mic melting. Right. I would enjoy that. Thank you, T.